Hi, Prabhu here. Today we will see about how to model a complex shape in Maya 2017. This is part 3. Stay tuned. Okay, in this part we need to model this flux slot and also switch so in this flux slot uh, you need to maintain lot of topology over here because we have five holes so now we start this flux point so open your Maya go to top view so I will create go to create panel polygon primitives disable the interactive creation that means when we click on polypy it will automatically create it in center of grid so i only want eight subdivisions for this polypy so i will give eight so and also i want to reduce my thickness to 0 0.3 so and press r and scale little bit down go to front view so i didn't want any back face so right click and choose all the back face so i will go my perspective so i will delete this one so right click and choose object mode in the object selector i want to change my pivot to center so select this object go to modify and choose center pivot and press w go to front view so i want to move in down so now go to top view so i want to move on the side before that I press Ctrl D to duplicate I want to move in Y so I select this object I want to move on this side so when we compare this um, this whole slot so this hole will be little bit bigger so I will select this one and press R and scale little bit big now I press W I want to move on this side so now I want to make duplicate on the side so press ctrl D to duplicate so hold D in keyboard and change my pivot to center over here like this and give scale X to just minus to keep what the value here we have so just give minus and press enter so that means it exactly mirror on the side so do same thing for this one so select this object and press ctrl d i want to move in down so and also in x like this so now i want to mirror on this side press ctrl d to duplicate hold d in keyboard i want to change my pivot exactly in center so hold the D and move in X so that means our pivot will be changed so now you just give scale X values to minus so just give in minus so that means it will automatically uh, mirror on this side so this is what we want so now we want to combine this all things so select all the object go to window and choose outliner so it's really important so when the all poly pipe selected shift right click and choose combine so now all the object will be combined so it create lot of history so when the poly pipe 6 selected go to edit delete by type and choose history so our history will be gone so now i close my outliner so double click on this side so i will select this two edge and shift select this to edge shift right click and choose bridge so i need to add on three subdivisions like this to do same thing on bottom side so select this to edge shift select this to edge shift right click and choose bridge and give divisions to three okay so now i want to select this edges over here to all the select this four edge and shift select this four edge shift right click and choose bridge so i will give division to one so do same thing on bottom side so select this edge over here 
and shift select this edge over here so one two three four five six seven eight so you want to select seven edge on top and shift select the seven edge on bottom so shift right click and choose bridge so and give divisions to one so like this so now we need to add and so select this two edge shift right click and choose extrude edge and press w i want to move in y like this so here we need to add and so here we need to add insert edge loop option box so i will reset my tool here you need to add one more edge loop here we need to add one more edge loop here we need to add one more edge loop so now right click and choose vertex so select this both vertex shift right click and choose merge vertex and choose merge vertex to center so select this vertex shift right click and choose merge vertex and choose target weld tool so that means click on this one and drag to this vertex click on this one and drag to this vertex so i want to adjust this one also so like this okay so now i want to select this three con three vertex press r and scale in z to make it straight so select this two edge shift right click and choose extrude edge and press w i want to move in z and press r and scale in z so i want to move this two vertex so select this two vertex shift right click and choose merge vertex and choose merge vertex to center so i will select all those things and scale in z so do same thing on the side so select this edge shift to double click on this edge shift right click and choose extrude edge and press w i want to move in z and press r and scale in x like this here i need to add one more edge loop like this so now i want to do on bottom side so select the edge and shift to double click on the edge shift right click and choose extrude edge and press w i want to move in z and press r and scale in z so like this so don't bother about the side so now we need to mirror on the side so now we complete our this one side over here so now shift right click and choose face move so before that we need to add an insert edge loop on this hole so insert edge loop tool so you need to add over here here and also here so now after you insert edge loop go to face mode so select all the face on this side and press delete in keyboard so now i will select this vertex and you need to keep exactly in over here and press r and scale in x to make it straight and press w i want to keep exactly in center of grid so right click and choose object mode in the object selector go to mesh and choose mirror so in this time it will in x direction so it's perfect but the direction to plus so you need to change the direction so that means it will be merged so i want to reduce my merge threshold over here so i will reduce my merge threshold so that means it will perfectly merge on this side okay now go to perspective so i will go my perspective view so i will select this object so now you able to see it clearly so now we got this perfect shape so now we need to create some thickness so before that you need to add insert edge loop for this corner so i will add insert edge loop on this corner over here and also here and also here so all four sides you need to insert edge loop so now i double click on the edge so that means it will select entire edge loop shift right click 
so before that you need to double click on the sage sorry I will undo that so after you selecting this edge shift right click and choose extrude edge and press W I want to move in Y so like this so you need to create some thickness for this object so you also add edge loop over here so insert edge loop over here to maintain some sharpness so now we need to extrude this edge so double click on this edge shift to double click on this edge shift to double click on this edge so you need to select all the edge over here shift right click and choose extrude edge and press W I want to move in Y so really big so don't bother about backside so it's not visible in our view so it will be hide in this back panel so I will don't bother about backside so now I need to add one more edge loops over here so I will add edge loop here here and also here and also here and also here so now I press W right click and choose object mode so press 3 in keyboard so that means it will be perfectly uh, model so as we seen in this image so this is really simple so now we need to model the switch so go to top view I will move this one on this side because I need center point for this modeling this switch over here so I will move on this side here we have lot of history so go to edit delete by type and choose history so our history will be gone so I want to rename my object go to uh, window and choose outliner so I want to rename my object as so this is plug slot slot or socket so I will give slot 0 1 so I will close my outliner so now we need to model our switch slot over here so using polycube so go to create polycube and press R and scale like this so you need to scale exactly for the size so exact same size in height so I will move this one go to shading and choose wireframe on shader and press 4 in keyboard so now I want to adjust this vertex in Z so I need exact size so I want to scale like this so now right click and choose object mode I want to keep exactly in center so when the object selected go to modify and choose center pivot so I want to keep my object exactly in center like this so now I need to model this one over here so here we have C so I will zoom in a little bit here you able to see uh, it has some thickness so go to perspective so go to front view so I want exact scale and press R and scale like this and move in Y so keep like this so now I need to add some thickness for this object go to top view right click and choose face so select this face go to perspective and shift select this face press 5 so select top and bottom face shift right click and choose extrude face so I need to extrude in X and extrude in also in Y so you need to scale in X and scale in Y and press delete in keyboard so now we got like this so now we need to close this holes using up and polygon tool so shift right click and choose open polygon tool select this one and click on this one and press enter so press G again so to repeat our tool so select this one and select this one and press enter 
so do same thing over here press G in the keyboard so select this one shift select this one and press enter so now press G in keyboard click on here click on here and press enter so now we need to add an bevel to this edge so select the edge mode select all the object over here shift right click and choose bevel edge so I need very tiny bit of bevel so I will use 0.2 so and segment to 2 so right click and choose object mode so in the object selector go to edit delete by type and choose history so our history will be gone so now go to top view and create an another poly cube and press R and scale like this and scale also in this way so go to perspective so I need to move in Y so like this so shift right click and choose insert edge loop you need to add edge loop over here so select the top edge and move in Y shift right click and choose bevel edge sorry double click on this edge so to select entire edge loop shift right click and choose bevel edge so I need to adjust my fraction amount and also segments so increase my fraction amount and increase my segments so like this so right, right click and choose object mode select this object and click on isolate select so I didn't want any back face so I will select all the back face so and press delete because it's not visible in our camera view so select all the edge all the corner edge over here so like this shift right click and choose bevel edge so I need to reduce my fraction amount very tiny bit I will use 0 0.05 so I'm segment to 2 so right click and choose object mode so I re-isolate my object now I press E and rotate like this so to change it into off like that so I want to move in Y and press E I want to rotate like this and press W I want to move in Y and go to top view so I want to move a little bit in Z so go to perspective so now it looks like the switch is off so I want to rename my object so I will select this both object go to window and choose outliner so I will so this is switch slot so I will rename as switch underscore slot 01 so this is switch so I will rename as switch 01 so before that I want to clear my history see here here we have a lot of history so I will select this both object go to any delete by type and choose history so when the switch and switch slot selected press ctrl G in keyboard so that means it will create a group for our switch and switch slot so rename this as switch so underscore GRP so that means group 01 so now I need to go to top view so see here here we have um, one two three and four duplicates so I want to move on this one like this in the group selected press ctrl D and move on this side press ctrl D I want to move on this side press ctrl D I want to move on this side like this so go to perspective so this switch is on so I want to rotate like this so that means the switch will be on like this so it's perfect 
now go to shading and choose wireframe on shader so that means our wireframe will become so now we need to model this back part so before that i need to create this one so go to top view and create and poly cube and press r and scale like this and scale in also z so go to perspective so go to top view press 4 in keyboard so now you able to see clearly what we have so i want to move like this okay so now go to perspective press 5 in keyboard so i want to move this one like this So like this here we need to model this uh, sorry model this one so I need to scale even bigger press 4 in keyboard press R and scale like this and also like this okay so now select the top face and shift select the bottom face press 5 in keyboard now shift right click and choose extrude face so extrude in z scale in x so like this and press delete in keyboard so that means we got hold like this now mean I will isolate this object use open polygon tool shift right click and choose open polygon tool select this one and shift select sorry select this edge and click on this edge and press enter so press G in keyboard so that means the open polygon tool will be repeat again so select this edge and this edge and press enter so press G select the sage and the sage and press enter press G select the sage and the sage and press enter so now right click and choose edge mode select all the edge shift right click and choose bevel edge so I need to give fraction to 0 0.1 or 0 0.15 so and segment to 2 so right click and choose object mode so now our panel will be created so before that it will be bevel on this side so I will undo my bevel over here so I will undo this one okay so after we complete our open polygon tool you need to add insert edge loop over here so now I double click on the sage and shift to double click on the sage I need to move in Y so you need to move like this move in Y so now I double click on the sage like this so see here here we have some uh, round shape so that means you need to add insert edge loop over here also here here so we need to use 3 smooth for this object so also this corner like this and also here so and also here also in bottom side also on this corner or here also here so now I right click and choose object mode and press 3 in keyboard so now you got this bevel on this area so like this so this is what we want so now I re-isolate my object now you able to see again so go to front view so I want to move this object a little bit down so you need to see our switch slot go to perspective so finally we need to model this part 
as separate so go to top view and create a polycube and press R and scale in X and press W I want to move like this and press R and scale in Z so right click and choose vertex so I will select this one press 4 in keyboard I want to move in X so like this so right click and choose object mode go to front view press 4 in keyboard I want to move this one so like this so go to perspective and press 5 in keyboard so now you are able to see what we have so now I want to isolate this object here you need to select all the edge and shift right click and choose bevel edge so I will give fraction to 0 0.1 and segment to 2 right click and choose object mode so I will re isolate this object so see here here we have facing some problem so see here uh, the hole will be closed over here for our flux slot so now you are able to see clearly so that means I will isolate this object over here so or I re isolate it go to top view press go to shading and choose wireframe on shader so here you need to add one more edge loop here here and here and also here so go to perspective so now right click and choose object mode when the object selected now re isolate this one so select the front face and shift select the back face and press delete in keyboard so now I re isolated so now you able to see our hole clearly because we make hole on this object so that means the uh, flux start hole will be uh, unclosed so like this so this is a little bit trick so we need to make hole on this object so that means the flux slot hole will be visible so now we finished our model so if you want to add light so I want to group my all objects so I will select all the object press ctrl G to group and I want to rename my group as switch underscore box 01 I want to rotate in x90 like this so now I select my final group over here and create an wall so click on this polyplane and scale really big and press E and rotate in X90 and press W I want to move a little bit in Z and press R and scale really big so and press W I want to move like this okay so now I didn't want any subdivision for this object so I will reduce my subdivision so now we need to start our lighting so if you need so or you just need model so leave it here so now I create some lighting for this object so I will select my background so right click and choose assign new material and choose uh, so see here my Arnold is disabled over here so sometimes it will happen so go to window and settings and preference and low plugin manager here you need to choose an m2a.mli so I want to click on load and click on auto load so now I need to add a material for this object right click and choose assign new material and choose Arnold AA standard so keep it white I need to add some bump map for this object so scroll down so this one is wall so I want to rename as wall underscore AA standard 
go to down and find and bump map so here we need to find bump mapping click on this checker and go to 2d texture add fractal I give bump value to 0 0.1 so select all other objects so except the background so right click and choose assign new material and choose Arnold AA standard so I need to add a color to white and specular weight to 1 and roughness to 0 0.5 so now I need to create an sky dome light. So go to Arnold light and choose sky dome light. When the sky dome selected, here you need to apply an HDRI map. So click on this color checker, go to file and filter type to off. So I will find my HDRI map. So if you have HDRI map, uh, please use that one. So or download in internet. So just google it and you need to find an HDRI map. So it's really important if you need an reflective object. So I will have an HDRI map. I just click on open. So I select sky dome again. So I give resolution to 3000. So because my HDRI map is 3000 pixel in width so i will give 3000 pixels so i give i open my arnold render view before that i need to set my camera view click space bar so i want to drag my viewport like this so here i need to set my perspective view here i need to set my camera view go to rendering and click on create cam go to panels perspective and choose camera one now i set my camera view like this so here we need to choose two things go to view camera settings and choose power scan view camera settings and choose resolution gain so i will zoom like this so now i open my arnold render view so in normal it will be render our camera view so i need to render my post sorry in, in normal it will be render our perspective view so I need to render my camera view over here. See here, uh, our lighting will be bleached. So I will select my HDRI map. I will reduce my exposure to minus one. Or uh, so I will reduce my exposure. Okay, now you able to see our bump map is too high for this wall. So I will select my wall and go to wall AA standard. So I need to reduce my uh, bump map. So click on this arrow. So and click on this arrow over here. So I will give bump depth to 0 0.01. Okay, it's also too high. So I will give 0 0.001 okay it's now perfect so now i need to reduce my lighting using uh, background so i will select my background so i will reduce my exposure even more so i will give minus four okay so the lighting is perfect but i need to adjust my camera angle so i will adjust my camera angle like this so to view our switchboard clearly okay so now it looks great but i need to change my background color because so the switch color and background color should be same so i will select my wall so and go my AI standard I will change my background color a little bit and a little bit of sandal like this okay it's render completed so now I review my final file over here I hope you like it I see you on next project 
click subscribe button to subscribe our youtube channel we always need your support to create high quality content further so please subscribe click here to also watch the tutorial of how to use arnold ai fog in maya 2017